um, welcome back. Okay, um, today we are going to talk about three things. Okay, now, um, but before I talk, I'll start. I'll, I'll do a short recap about what we covered the last lesson. Yeah, but basically, uh, these are the three things that we are going to do today. Okay, uh, basically the desirable features of a thermometer. Uh, we will talk about um degree to uh, degree Celsius to Kelvin, and finally we will talk about thermocouple. Okay, um, I may not finish. Um. I may not be able to finish all these three in 10 minutes. Okay, so we will see what we can do. Alright, uh, okay, so let me start off with a recap. Okay, now last lesson we talked about, um, we talked about, oh sorry. Can I erase this? Okay, now we talked about uh, the temperature scale. Okay, uh, if you remember, we are on this slide and yeah, here. And we are talking about this formula over here, right? Okay, so uh, regarding this formula, okay, uh, now I want to mention that this um, this formula says that theta is x theta minus x zero. Okay, uh, please uh, note all these um, things that I have written over here. Now, um, x zero is not necessarily always the ice point; it is a minimum defined point, and x hundred is not necessarily the steam point; it is a maximum defined point. It's just that by default. Okay, x zero and x hundred are usually the um, ice point and steam point respectively. Okay, now of course, if um, x zero and x hundred are indeed um, the ice point and steam point, then the range of temperature is hundred. Okay, as we can see here, you expect T range to be equals to hundred. Okay, now however, um, we were dealing with another question. Okay, where um, such a thermo such info was given. Um, you want you are asked to find either theta or x theta. I can't remember. Okay, and you are given x hundred twenty and x zero. Okay, you note that the uh, range is now hundred twenty, so the formula has to change. Okay, it is no longer times hundred, but it is times hundred and twenty, and this is no longer um x hundred, but we write it as x hundred twenty. Right. So I hope this is clear. Okay. Um. Now the good thing about uh thermometry right is that um uh, you realize this x here. Okay, this x here, um, this x here is an unknown length that relates to theta. Okay, so um, basically x is a physical quantity. Okay, uh, it can be anything. Okay, as we see on the slide, okay, which is also on um, the worksheet given to you, there are four different types of thermometer. Okay, and the most common one that we were dealing with was a mercury thermometer, where uh, temperature relates directly into length. Okay, so you expect the um, the temperature, uh, a temperature increase in a mercury thermometer will cause the mercury to shoot up a certain um, length, okay, or a certain height. Alright, so the physical quantity for mercury thermometer uh, will therefore be the length of mercury, okay. Uh, for resistance, you expect it to be the resistance of the resistor, right? So, um, I guess that's uh, pretty straightforward, okay. So, of course, there are other types of uh, thermometer. We'll look at the more couple either at the end of this video or the next video, right? So, uh, one more thing to take note is that this is always true, okay? Now, the linearity of a thermometer is important, and for almost all thermometers that um, we have ma we have manufactured or have been using, this relation, this graph here, this graph here is always true, okay? Um, the quantity will relate to a te uh, temperature and the relation is linear okay so the gr uh, when I say linear I mean that the gradient is uh, constant okay now this is math I'm uh, not going to delve into it alright okay so uh, that's it for the recap okay now um, now it's a 4 minute mark okay so I'll start on um, the desirable features of a thermometer okay so there are a few things uh, we will want for a thermometer Okay, uh, easy to read scale. Okay, uh, safe to use, sensitive, and the ability to measure wide range. Okay, so uh, I'll talk about sensitive in a while. Okay, uh, let's talk about range first. Okay, now uh, I'm quite sure these are not in your notes, so you may want to write it down. Okay, so when we talk about range, okay, um, it really depends on the usage of thermometer. So if it's a lab thermometer, we want it to be at a hundred degrees Celsius um, range. But a clinical thermometer will only need to be at a 10 degree range from 32 to 42. Okay, we don't really need to measure um, 30 degrees Celsius. I don't think any human is degrees, uh, um, 
uh, is at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius okay and if anyone hits 42 okay it's dangerous enough you don't need to continue to measure that person alright now um, now what is sensitive then okay sensitive as a word um, as the word suggests right it's a significant reaction to a small change alright so uh, yeah, you know right you know how um, sometimes you get scolded for spilling a cup of water yeah sensitive right okay so an example of that okay uh, now it's um, it really is um, has the same meaning as with its English origin okay significant reaction to a small change now so uh, when we want to see a significant uh, reaction for to a small change okay we want to look at a certain temperature change okay so perhaps let's look at a uh, temperature change of 0 0.1 degrees Celsius so what's the deal okay what's the deal here why why is 0 0.1 degrees Celsius so powerful or like so significant that we want to measure it so accurately okay now during your temperature taking exercise um, I'm quite sure you know the difference between 37.4 and 37.5 right in 37.5 you'll be sent to the geo you'll be said uh, you'll be uh, diagnosed with fever and 37.4 you'll be diagnosed with like please drink more water okay yeah, I'm very heaty at this moment or something like alright so we have these two okay and the, the difference is 0 0.1 degrees Celsius but you see the difference okay one will be uh, you have to take medicine the other one will be um, you're fine okay so we see that this 0 0.1 degrees Celsius is indeed a big deal okay it's, it's not just like any little small deal alright so if um, there's no significant reaction to a small change it's a lousy thermometer now uh, these are two examples okay if we are looking at 37.5 and 37.5 and the change is just this shaded area okay which is not very observable then we won't say that this is a sensitive thermometer alright but if the change is very observable okay okay now uh, which 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 is more observable the left or the right okay for the same amount of temperature change okay it's the same uh, okay we see that the right is more observable right okay and therefore we conclude that the right is more sensitive and that's what exactly we want in the thermometer right so uh, that's the idea of sensitive okay now um there's another few points that I need you all to take note on before I can go on to the next um, two objectives which I think will be in the next video now okay sorry like going to be eight minutes okay now these are the four things I need you all to take note of okay um, when we talk about thermometer we want to talk about its sensitivity which I talked about we want to talk about its range which I talked about so now the next two uh, linearity I have touched on also okay remember this idea okay if um, this graph is not always true then perhaps the, the thermometer is not a very good thermometer now imagine a thermometer that is not linear now um, it will be something like this okay this is 37 this is 37.1 okay if it is linear then it will be the gap will be the same okay this is L1 uh, this will also be L1 okay now however if it is not linear okay so this is a good linear thermometer if it is not linear say this is 37 this is 37.1 but this is 37.2 okay now you realize that for the same amount of temperature change okay um the the distance is different okay so this is not linear and you know that when it is not linear then this formula will definitely not okay this formula here this is not true for this thermometer all right okay and therefore that that will be the idea of linearity okay now the last thing i want to talk about is responsiveness before i end this video okay so very quickly um ask yourself how long do you want to measure a change from 37.1 to 37.7 1 minute 30 seconds or two minutes to three minutes okay think about uh, the time when you are taking temperature during the temperature taking exercise you do not want to put your thermometer for too long in your mouth right okay so this is reasonable this is a good amount okay so we say that this is a good response time okay the responsiveness is good okay now two to three minutes will be too long and we do not want that all right so that will conclude this um, video okay I uh, hope you all understand okay do try your TYS and uh, the worksheet regarding this Okay, thank you.